Okay, so what I want to do now is reduce the um, the number of triangles in this high poly uh, high poly mesh. Uh, you can see that we've currently got uh, 1,920 triangles. Um, this isn't um, too bad. I mean, there are static meshes in the game that are higher than that, uh, but um, I would prefer it if it was a bit lower and we can reduce um, polygons particularly along these sorts of um, areas here that aren't going to be seen by the player. So first I'm going to come up to uh, select edge loop tool and this is the tool that we used to create our low poly version of, um, of the base mesh. I'm then going to go to um, edit mesh and delete edge vertex to just get rid of those um, those edges and vertices that are going around the object. I'm then going to come up and use a very similar tool which is select edge ring tool and that will instead of uh, selecting um, uh, loops which are a series of uh, edges um, that are joined end to end, it will select a ring of edges um, that are all um, parallel to one another. And so with that selected I'm just going to uh, double click to select all of the um, the edges around my object. Uh, now we can get rid of every edge along here because this is a flat plane but these um, edges here um, are defining a curve but um, we can reduce these down slightly uh, just to sort of bring it back to something similar to the uh, base mesh uh, level. So I'm just going to deselect the ones that I don't want deleted and that's uh, this one. We need the corner um, edges to define our shape and anywhere where there is a meeting of our collision um, meshes it it corresponds to the uh, major grid line that we used in our base mesh. So I'm just going to deselect anything which is on that line. And I'll just rotate around and do the other side. And so there we go. So all of the edges that are now selected can be deleted. So edit mesh, delete edge vertex. And you can see we've gotten rid of those edges and vertices to uh, create a nice sort of um, simplified uh, skirt for our static mesh. And if we check our, uh, our object now, we've gone from um, uh, 1920 to, tw uh, to 1262. So we've lost um, a little bit under 700 triangles from our object which, um, which brings it down to a much more respectable mesh. Now with uh, all of that uh, completed uh, I'm just going to make sure that this object has the right file name or object name so I'm just going to copy this um, this object's name, select this object, select its name and paste here. And when I press enter it's going to increment to 03, that's because this is 01, our low poly version is 02 and this will be 03. And so with that done I'm just going to select our high res mesh and all of the collision meshes and I'm going to come down here, type AX Mesh. Make sure that selected items only is checked and auto triangulate, and we will export the mesh. And it's under Documents UK. And I will just save over the uh, one that I uh, completed in a previous video.